Hello everyone, welcome. This list of gadgets and inventions will help you in survival. We've included all the links to the products in the video in the description below. So head on down there for all the latest information and pricing. Hi, I'm Jerry Mitchellick, member of the Smith & Wesson Pro Shooting Team, and I'd like to introduce the Performance Center M&P 15 Competition 3-Gun Model. An 18-inch mid-weight barrel with a rifle length gas system, 5-bar rifling with a twist rate of 1 in 8, chambered in 5.56 NATO. Also features the new Smith & Wesson Performance Center muzzle brake, the Valtor iMod 6-position adjustable buttstock, 2-stage match trigger, and the Hogue grip assembly. For more information on the new Performance Center M&P 15 three-gun competition model, you can visit the Smith & Wesson website. I've been shooting uh, AR platform rifles for over 10 years. This is my Daniel Defense rifle. I started a few years ago with a DD M4 V5S. And, uh, over the time, it's transitioned into more of something similar to our V7 SLW. Started off with a Picatinny rail, and I moved over to the 13.5 MFR rail about two years ago. It has a 14.5 inch barrel with a mid-length gas system. I really like that length. It's short enough to shoot three gun and uh, two gun matches, but it's still long enough if I want to shoot out to a little bit of distance. It's a very versatile length and the mid-length gas system is a really smooth shooter. I do a lot of hunting with this rifle, pig hunting. I also do some uh, two gun and three gun matches as well as just shoot for fun and, and use it as a defensive weapon. It's probably got well over 5,000 rounds through this particular rifle. Some of the changes I've made just for my own personal use, I am a left-handed. So to start with the fire control group, I, uh, I made a change there. I went with a Radian Raptor and a Radian Talon for the charging handle and for the fire control group in the 45 degree position. So that helps me whenever I'm switching hands not to hit the top of my knuckle. I really like the Radian Raptor charging handle that I put on it because it allows me when I have a veritable optic up top to really get a good purchase on the charging handle and uh, and not hit the scope. I've got a set of iron sights on it as backup. These are on the rear fold down from uh, Knight's Armament. Currently I'm using a red dot. It is an aim point T1 on a Daniel Defense mount and the true co-witness position. Up front I have a light made by Streamlight. It's the ProTac. I really like this light because it's very very bright. I have it on the uh, pressure switch so that it kind of allows me to uh, use it as needed, but uh, stays in the off position when I don't need it. And uh, lastly, as my uh, iron sights up front, I do have fold down up front, and those are made by Griffin Armament. So I made the changes to my V5S to go from Picatinny to M-Lock. So I chose this 13.5 uh, MFR rail, and I chose to go to M-Lock because it seems to be the way that things are moving in the future. I also like the octagonal design of this rail it fits really well in my hand, and uh, when I'm shooting and transitioning between targets, it's lightweight aspect, makes it really easy to move between targets. This is very, very similar to our V7 SLW, so if you're interested in, in a rifle very similar to this setup, that's the one I would recommend. I really enjoy using an AR platform like this just for the modularity and the ease of use. Um, it's very easy to clean, uh, it's user friendly. I can take this rifle down to the bare essentials and clean it very easily, maintain it, take care of it. But also it's very versatile and I can hunt with this, I can shoot competitively with it, can also use it for a home defense weapon. So it's just, it's very easy for me to use. Um, if you're interested in, in picking up a V7 SLW, I would- Purpose, fully featured Saint Rifles.
The Edge features a multi-mode gas block for maximized versatility and a free-floating handguard for supreme accuracy. Designed with a tactical or defensive operator in mind, Springfield Armor upgraded the AR-15 experience by providing elite engineering and features at a reasonable price. So you get more bang for your buck. The DDM-4 V11 for the longest time was our best-selling rifle and still holds its own in our lineup. It's gonna come standard with our Daniel Defense Flash Hider, which is a salt bath nitride finish. Behind that, you have a 16 inch middle length gas system barrel, which is a government profile barrel. And then the rail system is our Slim Rail 15.0. The Slim Rail is a key mod system that is also utilizing our patented bolt up system. The V11, much like every other Daniel Defense rifle, will ship standard with our Daniel Defense 32 round magazine. And it will also ship with our new Daniel Defense grip and rip ambidextrous charging handle. The DDM4 V11 is one of the lighter configurations that we make, weighing in just at 6.2 pounds. It is going to come standard with ambidextrous selector levers and is chambered in 5.56. This particular configuration comes in multiple different colors. You can either get it in our Daniel Defense Mil-Spec Plus or the Daniel Defense Tornado Gray. And then obviously we have it in the black color as seen here. The DDM4 V11 is an overall lightweight, fantastic rifle that will make a great addition to a gun safe. Ruger AR556, the standard model 8500, is an exceptional value in the modern sporting rifle. A rugged, reliable Ruger, it will serve you well out of the box or serve as a great foundation for your custom build. The Ruger AR556 MPR, or multi-purpose rifle, is Ruger's custom build. It's assembled with top quality, well-matched components. It's still a rugged, reliable Ruger. It's still an outstanding value. The AR556 MPR is an exceptionally accurate rifle and it seems to do everything very well. The heart of the AR-556 build is its barrel. Cold hammer forged from chrome moly steel. It's forged with minimum bore and groove dimensions and 5R rifling. 5R rifling distorts bullet jackets less, fouls more slowly, cleans more easily. This barrel is forged with a one in eight twist that will stabilize just about any bullet length. And the 18 inch length gives a little extra velocity boost over the standard 16 inch tube. A highly accurate build need not have a super heavy barrel contour. The AR556 MPR has a 700 diameter in front of the gas block, a 750 diameter at the gas block journal, and the barrel contour is trimmed away behind the gas block. This lightweight contour contributes to fast and quick handling. The barrel is capped with a radial port muzzle brake that reduces recoil and muzzle rise, further contributing to quick handling. Recoil is further reduced by the rifle length gas system. The softer operating impulse is easier on the rifle and easier on the shooter. Accuracy is further enabled by the low pro gas block which is free floated inside the 15 inch handguard. This light trim handguard features M lock slots at the three, six and nine o'clock position as well as the upper 45 position and a full length Picatinny rail that matches the Picatinny on the flat top upper. The barrel is nitrided to help it maintain its great accuracy over more rounds downrange. Longevity is further enhanced by chrome plating on the ID of the bolt carrier and the bolt. The bolt is 9310, it's shot peened and proof tested. The Ruger AR556 MPR features Ruger's Elite 452 trigger. It's a two stage trigger. The first take up stage is followed by a crisp, clean four and a half pound break. The Ruger MPR features Magpul MOE furniture, the adjustable for length buttstock with a comfortable cheek weld, the appropriately textured grip for great control and great comfort, and when coupled with the trim handguard, the MPR offers great ergonomics. The Ruger AR556 multi-purpose rifle does everything well. If your game is shooting tiny groups from the bench, three gun or multi gun events, or just plinking at the range, the MPR does it all and does it all very well. Freedom. To some, it means answering only to yourself, a life built on earning every inch of the pathway you walk and every mile of the road you travel. You take each day as a chance to be better.
to get stronger, to do more. Your trust resides solely with you because you know you make your own luck and you decide your own fate. Long days and late nights pave the way to smooth water and bumpy roads. And practice becomes preparation. Repetition becomes reaction. For you, earning your freedom is a challenge you gladly accept every day. Knowing the greatest challenge in life is the one undertaken by those determined to be free. Tread. Please subscribe. We are trying hard to collect this content for you guys. Every single like will motivate us to keep making such content. I hope you have enjoyed today. We'll see you tomorrow with new stuff. Stay connected with us.